chuck on the uh, screen fluid holder. One there, and two down the bottom. Hold it all in place. Okay, let's get these bottom fuel lines on. Just gonna make sure they're going easy by hand. And they're lined up right. An awkward spot to get at. Bring that one up like that. From behind. That one's fine. One to go. One painful. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Let's lift them up with the 14. Sorry for blocking your view. Can't do much about that one. Again, 15 newton meters. If you've got something fancy, that'll do that. Come in from underneath and get to that one. It's on. Don't get much movement on it though. That's good. Okay. Let's start putting some of the wiring back on. This one. And a good spray later. Cover in grease. Oil. Big six pin onto here. This one, the two pin comes around the back. Clips into that. And a thermostat. It's a one pin thing. Clips into that. Let's take it off on a pretty sure these have to come through this side. So 
first and clip it in. Now this little piece, there's a line that goes to the rear back, it's not that one, there's one that comes on the inside of that. Yeah, that goes under there. And both of these, will, I believe, will go onto the intake. This will mount on the water outlet, this connects onto the glow plugs. So. Okay, he's going to put the water hose on in the connector. This cabling attaches to it. So this part here connects onto the top of it and this bracket here, that hole slides into this part. Okay, so put this on first. Out of the way, which is possible. Get down around. Okay, it's on. Oh, look at that. That's more of it, looks like. Right. All very well lined up. That's got it. Okay. Okay, let's do these up. Extender on that one, just a little bit just to get in there, 10 mil. You can do this pretty tight, but the little thing anyway is obviously the water jacket. So I'm going to make sure that it's not coming off, it's not going to leak. Is, this racket just comes around the, the back side. clip on the back I mentioned earlier. Okay so this clip here I showed you before it just clips on like that. Okay now I'm going to rotate the engine manually just to make sure everything is working. Uh, I've left out the glow plugs so that removes the pressure off the pistons so they'll turn a bit easier. Make sure it's out of gear. I'll rotate this around twice so it goes through everything couple of times uh, make sure it works I'm using a 22 mil on the standard extender arm from down there on the crank bolt so I'll see how that goes Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, done. Got around. All worked as it should. Check the alignment again. Top and top, all still in place. Awesome. Okay, put in the bird plugs. Have a torque of 13 newton meters. Um, I can just get on there with this. Just so just because of the length, it's going to be a bit of pain. But get to this one with the extender so I'll just do that This bit, the uh, action, we've got our little nuts going next. connection so you don't have to go too wild with it. Cover on before uh, giving it all a clean. Thank you. 
want the top one just down there, two at the very bottom. And there's a couple of clips that go on after that. Loosen these up a bit. That's got it, I think. Yep. One more painful one. Yes, thank you. Let's ratchet it up with a ten. Just firm with the little thing. That's it. Okay, now this is these two clips which go on here and another one just down there. So the uniform is no particular shape, so just under push, done. Same with the one down here which is not so friendly located. 